Okay, now for question number nine from the October 2019 International A-Level P1 paper. Here we have a question about the sine curve. Okay, so it says here, figure five shows the sketch of a part of the curve C with the equation Y equals sine X over 12, where X is measured in radians, the point M um, shown in figure five is the minimum point on C. And we have to state the period of C and state the coordinates of M. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to say, let's imagine that this is a graph of Y equals sine X first. Okay, that's what we should know when Y equals sine X, we should know that it reaches its maximum at 90 degrees, which is pi over two. It reaches zero at pi. It reaches its minimum at three pi over two, which is 270 degrees, and it goes back to zero at two pi. We should we should know this from our knowledge of the sine curve. And if you do forget that, you could actually just plug these values in to your calculator and work out when you know pi over two. You should know like 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270, 360. Those are some of the key uh, angles you should know and should know what they are in radians. Now it's saying. Um, write down the or state the period of c now the period is like um how after how much it repeats itself so basically you can see that this pattern on the sine curve is one period of the sine curve because it's just going to repeat the same shape again before and after this so this is the period of the sine curve but this is the period of y equals sine x what we've got is y equals sine of x over 12. Okay, so this is of the form y equals f x over 12. So this is a horizontal stretch. It's a horizontal transformation, a horizontal stretch. And the factor is 12. It's the reciprocal of the number here. Here, the, the number that's multiplying the x inside, okay, is 1 12th. So the, 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 um, the factor for the stretch is going to be the reciprocal of 1 12th, which is 12. Remember what's inside the function if there's a change occurring inside the function it always apl applies to a horizontal transformation so here it's going to be horizontal if you're multiplying it's got something to do with the stretch so there's a horizontal stretch and if it's inside it always acts kind of the opposite of what it normally does so what you normally think it might do so if you're dividing it by 12 it's actually a stretch factor of multiplying by 12 not multi not not dividing by 12 multiplying by 12 so basically all of these values if i want to draw y equals sine x over 12 have to be multiplied by 12. so i'm going to have 12 times um, pi over 2 12 times pi 12 times 3 pi over 2 and 12 times 2 pi so this let me just this is going to become 24 pi it's 12 times 2 pi so the period is going to be 12 times 2 pi which is 24 pi, simple as that. Okay, part B state the coordinates of M. M is a minimum point. Now we know the minimum point of the sine curve is at minus one and this uh, transformation inside the function only affects the X value, so the Y value stay the same. So the minimum value is going to be minus one for the Y. Okay, but now we've got to decide what it's going to be for the X. Well, we know as we mentioned just now that all of these values are multiplied by 12. So it's 12 times 3 pi over 2. So we can write, show that for our steps. 12 times 12 times 3 pi over 2. Well, they cancel out there. So you're left with 6 times 3 pi, which is 18 pi. So you have 18 pi and minus 1. So here you have 18 pi. And remember, this is going to be 12 pi, just to put everything in the right value. And this is going to be, whoops, what did I do there? This is going to be pi over 2 times 12, which is 6 pi. Okay, so this is now, these are now the right values for us to have y equals the sine of x over 12. Okay, so those are, that's the answer for part A and part B of this question. Okay, question number nine, part C. Um, here we're told that the smallest positive solution of the equation sine x over 12 equals k, where k is a constant, is alpha and we've got to find in terms of alpha the negative solution of the equation sine x over 12 equals k. So this remember is the curve y equals sine of x over 12. Okay, and when x over 12 is equal to alpha, 
then the sine of the alpha is equal to k. Okay, so sine of alpha is equal to k in this particular curve. Now, all right, so what we can do here is we can basically find the negative solution of this that is closest to zero. So basically, we've got to think about extending in this direction. We've got to carry on the curve and see the first time that the curve hits the line y equals k. Okay, that's what we've got to do. So what I've done underneath here to make it a bit easier to see is I've kind of made a copy of that. I'm going to extend it backwards. All right. So now we have um, the extension of this same curve. So remember, this is now, remember, it's y equals sine x over 12. So all the normal values are multiplied by 12. So instead of being pi, this is 12 pi. Instead of being 2 pi, this is 24 pi. Instead of being uh, 3 pi over 2, this is 18 pi. Instead of being pi over 2, this will be 6 pi. Okay, so here's your 0. So that means, because of symmetry, this is like a ro has rotational symmetry, this distance here between 0 and 12 pi, this is going to be minus 12 pi here. And if you carry on, that'll be minus 24 pi. Okay, so now, let's extend the line y equals k backwards until it hits the curve again. Now, the first time it hits the curve um, on the negative side is this point over here. Okay, so this is what we're actually looking for. We need to find the value of this angle. So we can see that this is zero. That's minus 12 pi. We need to just have this part here as well. Now, we can see from symmetry that this is 12 pi. Uh, sorry, this is, this is alpha. This, this distance is alpha. So this distance must also be alpha. So our angle here must be minus 12 pi minus another alpha. Minus 12 pi minus alpha is the negative solution that is closer to zero. So that is minus 12 pi minus alpha. There's the answer to part C part one. Okay, that's the answer to C part one. Now C part two says the smallest positive solution of the equation cosine cosine of let me just write that there cosine of x over 12 equals k now we know that the sine of alpha equals k when we are dealing with the light curve y equals sine x over 12 right the sine of alpha equals k we want to find okay what well, the cosine of what angle equals k and it's going to be the same type of curve as the sine curve except it's just cosine it's still x over 12 so we need to find uh, you know what is what for what angle will the cosine of that angle equals k in terms of alpha okay so what we can do here is we can remember or we can think about a rule which actually some of you might not have even learnt yet it's a bit of a sneaky question really but definitely when you do p2 you'll learn it this is kind of the type of question which sorts out the people to get who are going to get four marks from those who, who won't okay but basically the, the the sign of an angle is equal to the cosine of 90 minus an angle minus that same angle okay that's when you're dealing with um, you know y equals the sine of theta okay when it's normal curve right so we can extend that to this that the sine um sorry the cosine of an angle or we can say that the sine of alpha will be the same is equal to k so the sine of alpha will be the same value as the cosine of 90 minus alpha but we're not going to be dealing with 90 here because we're dealing with the cosine the cosine and the sine of x over 12 so instead of 90 we're going to be dealing with 6 pi so it's the sine of alpha is the same as the cosine of 60 6 pi minus alpha so the cosine of 6 pi minus alpha will give us the same value as the sine of alpha which is k so it's when 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 uh, the angle okay the, the smallest positive solution of cosine um 
x over 12 equals k is when x over 12 is equal, equal to 6 pi minus alpha. So that's the solution. That's the smallest positive solution of the equation cosine x over 12 equals k. Okay, when this angle here is equal to 6 pi minus 12. Okay, so that's the answer to that question. Okay, that's a bit of a, a tricky one there, the last one especially. Okay, so there we have it.